Hi! Uh, as you can see, I'm standing here uh, by Bahia Honda State Park and I wanted to give you guys just a quick update on what the park looks like this year. Uh, we came last year pre-Hurricane Irma um, and obviously the park looks very different this year post-Hurricane Irma. It just opened up in February so there's still a lot of repairs going on. Um, but uh, the Buttonwood campsite is open and uh, it's still a beautiful place to stay. So I figured I'd do a really short form video update, uh, not like the full form like I usually do, just to show you what it looks like today. So let's go have a look. This is the entrance station to the park uh, just down the road from Highway 1 over there. And it looks very much the same as last year. It's a gated entry which does close at night. Um, there's an entry fee if you are not camping. Um, otherwise you just uh, drive on through and to the park uh, which is over there in the background. This is the area right behind the entrance station. As you can see, the entire ocean side on this side is completely cut off, no access at all. And the campsite that was over here, the ocean side campsite, is also shut down, washed away. This is what the main road looks like going towards the campground uh, from the ranger station. It's all cordoned off on this side as you can see. And the campground is going to be right up here to our right. The day use area which is open is uh, straight ahead. The entrance to the campground, it is a second gated entrance. Uh, which is closed all the time, so you do need a code to get into the main campground. We'll do a quick little bike through here. Starting at the end of the campground, this is site 34 to our right. These are the main facilities now. Site 6. Site 7. And these are the prime waterfront sites in the back. Site 22 here, 21. Site 20, Site 19, Site 18, 17, 16, 15, and we're in Site 14. Take you around in the other direction. Take you down the back side of the campground. Site twenty seven, twenty eight. This is the dump station on the right. And the facilities which replace the facilities building. Site 32, 33. And this is the last site in the campground. Back to the exit. This is the end of the campground. Uh, near the waterfront sites. 
uh, that site, uh, 17, 16, 15, um, and we're in site 14. All the sites have been regraded, uh, new power pedestals. Our particular site does uh, have a rather long cord to get to the power pedestal if you want to park in this direction. And as you can see, uh, the views are as beautiful as ever here. The main thing is just that uh, most of the vegetation, the privacy between the sites is gone. So last year this would have been a thick private line between us and the RV site next door. But that is gone now. Still looks beautiful though. Quick clip of the facilities trailers. Uh, this is probably the biggest difference from last year. The entire facilities building has been wiped away. We now have uh, portable toilets and portable showers, which are these, this trailer here. Uh, it's all very clean. Um, the showers are quite tight, not a lot of space to move around. There's uh, only a peg to hang, hang your clothes, no bench. So it is a bit tight in there, but the water's fine. It's a pull down chain and it's uh, pretty warm, pretty good uh, pressure. And the uh, toilets are also very clean, um, but there is no facilities building here anymore. This is all that's left. The RV dump is uh, where it's always, always been, in the middle of the campground loop. Uh, this is where the facilities building used to be. Uh, this is the RV dump. It's open and operational. And the garbage. Quick clip from the underpass uh, that goes over to the other bayside uh, campground. Uh, this is the front, uh, waterfront section of Buttonwood. Um, you can see all the sites are still facing the water. Uh, they're facing the bay here between the two bridges. This is still a great place to watch the sunset. Um, and the only real difference is that the vegetation which used to be between the sites here is, uh, is very sparse. But otherwise, they're still beautiful sites. Clip of the final area. Uh, these are the bayside cabins and uh, the bayside uh, tenting area. Um, this all looks in really good shape actually. This part of the park had the least damage. Um, you can only tent camp here or car camp uh, because you have to go underneath Highway 1 to get here so there are absolutely no rigs taller than a car that can get over here. Um, but it is quite pretty on this side. Although you do get quite a bit of road noise. And also, uh, this is the only place where the facilities actually survived. So there's still the original facilities building here. It's just flush toilets, no showers, but it's still standing. The marina is looking uh, pretty decent, although they're still undergoing repairs. There's a guy dredging over there, as you can see, and a, a beached boat over there. So still some repairs to do. Um, and they're not allowing boats in here yet, uh, so there's no uh, scuba diving trips at the moment, there's no sightseeing. Um, and for the time being, this gift shop is still closed, but they've been working on that all week while we've been here. So I think that's likely to open up very, very soon. Oh, in the background here, uh, you can see uh, that toilet is gone. They put a trailer in its place. Um, so there's uh, only trailer toilets now around here. This is Calusa Beach, the Bayside Beach, which is the only beach open at this time. Uh, it still looks just as beautiful as last year. Um, the main difference is uh, these uh, sitting pavilions, they've all lost their roofs, so there's not really any shade at the pavilions here. Um, but the swim beach is open, and it is gorgeous here. This is the view from the top of the old bridge. Um, everything on this side of the bridge, uh, which is the ocean side, has still cut off. Um, so they're in process of repairing it. But the bike trail that was on this side, the day use area, 
is not currently open. On this side, however, the bay side, everything is open. This is kind of an aerial view of Calusa Beach. Uh, the campground is right there in the background. And the main bay here. Well, that wraps up our quickie review. Um, I hope you can see the campground still looks great. I mean, obviously a lot of vegetation gone, but it looks fantastic. It's a beautiful place to stay, as you can see. Um, so if you're coming to camp here in an RV, uh, Buttonwood Campground is open and operational, and uh, you should have a wonderful time. We certainly did. See you down there.